If you are an Excel user, you must have heard a lot about Copilot in Excel. No doubt, it's an awesome feature, but it comes with a big limitation. Copilot works only in Microsoft Office 365. But what's if you are using an older version of Excel? Don't worry, because today's video is going to be a game changer for you. In this video, I'll show you how to use AI inside Excel. Yes, this feature is already inbuilt, but the catch is we will have to activate it first. And to activate this feature, we will be going to Home tab. We will go to extreme right hand side. In right hand side, we get the option of Add-ins. We will click on Add-ins. We'll come at the bottom. More Add-ins. Over here, we get lots of options. On the left hand side, we can see categories. On the top, we have got Search button. I'll click on Search button. Over here, I'll look for Chat GPT. And we'll click on Search icon. We have got lots of options. We will come down. Over here, we can see Chat GPT for Excel. And on the right hand side, we can see the option of Add. I have added this in advance. So I'm not going to add this again. I just close this. Once it will be added, it will look something like this. Once this is activated, we are ready to work with Chat GPT in Excel. Over here, we have got lots of options like Ask, Choice, Extract, Fill, Format, list, table and translate. We will cover all these one by one. So let's start with AI.ask. Ask clearly says that we can ask anything. My question over here is, what Excel formula should I use to calculate the total salary in column F only if the job role in column G is manager? Means we are going to ask a question from chat GPT. We will use formula for this plus or equal to AI. At the bottom, we can see lots of options. I'll select the very first one that is AI.ask. Now we have to provide the prompt and my prompt is my question. So I'll click over here. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. As soon as we will hit enter, it's going to show busy. But within few seconds, we will get our desired result. So over here, we got the formula and AI has provided us the formula or function of sum if with our column ranges. In case you want to change your question, you can click on top and you can change the question. No need to change your formula again and again. Let's move to next example. Choose. In choose, we will see two examples. On the left hand side, we have got lots of statements. In all these statements, many are positive, many are negative and many are neutral. Like the very first one. The delivery was super fast and the packing was good or packaging was great. If I come to second one, the statement over here is this phone stopped working in just three days means this is a negative statement. So whenever we are collecting feedbacks from customers, it's really not possible to analyze all the feedbacks one by one or it's not possible to read all the feedbacks one by one. So in this case, we can use AI.choice. Just after statement, I have given few choices like positive, neutral or negative. First three statements are my feedback. So I have given positive, neutral or negative. Just after that, we have got few statements where I want to see or I want to check that the specific statement is of which department. Let's use our formula plus or equal to AI dot. This time I'm going to select choice values. These are my values. If we want, we can select all and if we want, we can select one by one, comma, choices. These are my choices. Now I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. It will show busy, but we got our result. This is a positive statement. When I'll drag it down, second is negative and third is neutral. The course was okay, not bad, but nothing too special means this is a neutral statement. Let's drag this down. And we got the most relevant replies. Like this statement is related to finance. This is from marketing. Over here, I have got name of a bird that is parrot. And we can see bird over here. Mammal. And over here, we can see elephant. In the same way, last sentence is of HR. In our sentence or statement, we can't see HR anywhere. But the most relevant over here is HR. Means all these works are done by HR. Let's see next example of choose. 
In this example, we have got a scenario. In our scenario, there is a person named Ravi. He runs a small online shop. Every day he receives hundreds of customer reviews. And for Ravi, it's really not possible to go through all the reviews one by one and to check which one is positive, neutral or negative. So what Ravi is going to do? Ravi is going to divide statements in three categories, positive, neutral and negative. So all the categories are over here. Now, what Ravi will have to do? He will have to use plus or equal to AI dot choice. Now, Ravi will select the values which are on left hand side, comma, choices. What are Ravi's choices? Ravi's choices are positive, neutral and negative. Now, Ravi will close the bracket and will hit enter. And Ravi got the desired result. Let's drag this down. Somewhere it's positive, negative, neutral and so on. Now, Ravi wants to see the ratings and stars. For Ravi, positive will be 5. Neutral will be 3 and negative will be 1. So, how Ravi will put the ratings? By using ifs plus or equal to ifs. Bracket open, logical test. This is logical test. Comma. If this cell is equal to positive, Ravi will put double inverted comma positive. Double inverted comma close. Comma. If this cell will be positive, Ravi wants 5. 5. Comma. If this cell will be equal to neutral, double inverted comma, neutral, double inverted comma, close. If this cell will be neutral, what Ravi wants? Ravi wants three ratings, comma. We'll click on the very first cell is equal to negative, double inverted comma, negative, double inverted comma, close. If this will be negative, what Ravi wants? Ravi wants one, comma. 1. Hit enter. And the very first rating is 5. Let's drag this down. In negative, we got 1. For neutral, we got 3. Now, Ravi wants to see stars along with the ratings. So, how this can be done? Plus or equal to repeat. R-E-P-T. Repeat. Bracket open. Text. In text, Ravi will have to provide star. Means emoticon or emoji of star. So, Ravi will put double inverted comma and Ravi will open window of emoji or emoticon and will select star. Double click over here, star will be inserted. Let's close this. Double inverted comma close, comma, number times. How many number times? Ravi will have to click on ratings. Close the bracket, hit enter and Ravi got 5 stars. Let's drag this down. If the rating is 1, star is 1. If the rating is 3, star is 3. Perfect. So, in this way, Ravi can analyze all his data or feedback within minutes. Let's move to next example. Extract. On the left hand side, we have got city names along with country names. In few places, we have got just city name and no country name. On the right hand side, in outputs, we want city name. Let's use our formula plus or equal to AI. We have already covered AI.ask and AI.choice. This time we will be selecting AI.extract value. This is our value, comma. What we have to extract? We have to extract city name. In case you want to type it manually, it can be done. But in my case, it's typed on top. So I'll click over here. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We got all city names over here. In case you want to select the whole data at one go, it can be done. Let's double click over here. Let's delete C6 and let's select all the data from top to bottom. Let's hit enter and we got all the city's name extracted from left hand side. In case you want country names over here, just click on top, double click on the formula, come to the end C3. Over here we had city. I'll delete this. And this time I'll select country and we'll hit enter. And we got all the country names over here. In third statement, it's Berlin is where I'm living now. It's a city, not a country. So we can see not found. For few more statements, we can see not found. But if country name will be added over here, it will feature on right hand side. Let me go to the very first statement. I'll delete India from here. 
enter and we can see not found india is also known as bharat what will happen if i'll put bharat over here comma bharat enter i inserted bharat but i got india as a result let's move to next example field we will be filling missing data over here on the left hand side we have got country names on the right hand side we want capital biggest city and smallest city i have got data for few countries only but for rest of the countries data is missing and i don't want to go to google to look for data one by one let's use our formula plus or equal to ai dot this time i'll select fill example what is my example my examples are filled parts comma partial i want data for these so i'll select all these we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got the desired results we had just provided country name but ai has done our work by providing capital biggest city and smallest city in case you want to know the area of the countries it can be done very easily process will be same let's move to next example ai dot format this feature cleans our messy data on the left hand side we have got our data name is not in a proper format we have got mobile number but we want to add country code before the mobile number we want to change the date format and so on these are the details what i want i want names in proper case i want mobile number in this format over here we have got dollars but i want dollars in indian currency and so on let's use ai dot format plus or equal to ai dot this time i'll select ai dot format value this is our value comma format what format i want i want this format we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and i got full name in proper case let's drag this down in my mobile number country code got added date format got changed over here we can see delhi and india in two different columns as per ai this should be in two different columns so ai has divided automatically same over here we have got dollars and ai has converted dollars into indian currency that is rupee as per today's market perfect let's move to next example on the left hand side we have got few questions or few statements and on the right hand side we want answers for them like list of 10 fruits or 10 vegetables or 10 important excel formulas question can be anything let's see what can be done over here plus or equal to ai dot this time we want list so i'll select ai dot list bracket open prompt all these are my prompts but on top i have created drop down for all the prompts so i'll click over here comma now rest of the things are optional we want our data in vertical way or horizontal way so i want my data in vertical way i'll click over here we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter just notice on the top i have got my question and over here i got my output or my answers it was top 10 world tourist destination it's paris in france rome in italy dubai in uae and so on let's change our question let's do it list of 10 fruits we got 10 fruits if i'll do this 10 important excel functions just notice sum average v lookup h lookup and so on let's move to next example on the top i have got my question and over here i am going to use ai dot table my question is i want list of 10 famous tech companies with headquarters their location revenue and number of employees plus or equal to ai dot i have covered nearly all only pending are table and translate so i'll be selecting ai dot table prompt this is my prompt i'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter on the top we have got headers also let's do one thing let's fill color over here perfect let's adjust column sizes let's change the header color now it's visible properly so we got company names headquarter locations revenue 
number of employees. In case we want to update our query or question, it can be done. I'll click on top. We'll add start date, comma, products, comma, founder, enter. And we got all the details. Let's adjust column sizes. Let's come to right hand side. And over here, we have got all the details. Who was the founder? What are the products? In which year? Company was founded, total number of employees, total revenue in billions. This figure of revenue is based on 2022. Perfect. Let's see our next and last example. Translate. On the top, I have got drop down of various languages and I have got two statements and I want to convert both the statements in different languages. Let's use our formula plus or equal to AI dot i'll select the last one that is ai dot translate text this is our text comma target language in case you want to type manually just insert double inverted comma and type your target language hindi double inverted comma close bracket close and hit enter and you'll get the desired language in our case we have got drop down over here let's translate our second paragraph plus or equal to translate ai dot translate text this is our text comma target language my target language is over here so i'll click on top we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter this paragraph also got translated in hindi let's click on drop down and let's select spanish now my paragraph got changed in spanish if i'll select arabic we can see the translation in Arabic in the same way, German, and we got the desired result. So these were the few examples in which we learned how to use inbuilt chat GPT in Excel. I'll provide the link of file in description box. In case you want to download, you can.